All right, this is a quick test, a quick review of a full install of the latest from Linux Mint. This is the beta. The final versions of this should be released probably the next month or so, maybe even less. This is a full install on a 10-year-old Lenovo dual-core PC maxed out with 8 gigs of RAM. It is a dual-core, 8 gigs, can't do much with that. However, lightweight Linux Mint, the Mate desktop, really is perfect for something like this. And I just proved it by installing this, and it works great. The nice thing about this, I was able to play my Burn Notice DVDs. Burn Notice, one of my favorite TV shows. I was able to play the uh, Burn Notice DVD and VLC without having to do any terminal commands, and that was great. The Mate desktop, famous for adding applets, little shortcuts to the panel. I usually add the weather. You, you may notice there on the top right that my internet is not connected. I had to move my computer, my router, so my cable is disconnected for the internet service. Anyway, this just works. It just works the way it should. You can toggle here between applications and favorites. I've shown you this many, many times before here on the Total OS Technology channel. And really, nothing much has changed in this in terms of how it looks, how you can customize it, how it runs. It just works. You see here a nice selection of wallpaper. Very easy for a newbie or for a Windows user to get used to if you wanted to try something like this. If you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11, currently like I am, Linux Mint is perfect. It's one of the, really one of the few very polished Linux-based systems for beginners. I would include this, Zorn OS, Ubuntu Mate is another one based, of course, on the Mate desktop. But this one here, yeah, if you're looking for something, maybe to replace what you have, or dual boot, like I do with Windows 11, even, even on an older machine, uh, like I said, 10 years old, just 8 gigs of RAM. Of course, with this, 8 gigs of RAM is plenty. It just works. So check out the latest from Linux Mint. This is the beta. I haven't seen any bugs left. If you're not sure, maybe just wait another month or so, and the final version, I'm sure, will be released. But this looks good and it just works. Check it out, the latest from Linux Mint. A link for this will be below in the show notes. Take care.